What's going on everyone? Anthony Drew Gary here, still the host of the How To Show and still talking about optimizing life, money, and happiness, but this week we're gonna simplify things. We're not gonna have an intro, we're not gonna have an outro. Just wanna talk about what's going on in our world and maybe what we can do to make it a little more enjoyable. So if you're like me, you've been told to social distance, you've been told not to gather in groups of more than 10, uh, you may be working from home, you may not be working right now at all. It's, uh, it's a crazy time to be alive in 2020. The premise for this week's video started yesterday when my wife and I were watching an online sermon from a recorded series over the weekend from our church uh, that we were instructed to watch online because there, there wasn't any large gathering. And the sermon was about 35 minutes long. And during that time, I lost count of the number of times I thought to myself, where's my phone? I should look at my phone. I wonder what's going on. And it just, it just rattled me to the core. And I, I hope I'm not the only one that's feeling this sort of situation that, that with the overabundance of information that we have right now at our disposal and, and everybody's ability to interact with it, I just kept checking my phone over and over again in the last couple of days. And so I wanted to, to take a break from that uh, in such a way that, that I would tee up a video that would talk about how to basically enjoy the, the time that we have that, uh, that we're with ourselves or our own thoughts or our families during this social distancing time such that uh, we can spend it maybe a little bit less uh, with our phones or with our TV because uh, those seem to be the two crutches that, that are really easy to fall back on and maybe there's a better solution. So a few ideas that, that I came up with, and, and really I came up with these just by walking around my house. And so if, if these are things that are inside my house, there's a good chance that they're inside yours as well. Uh, the first thing that I came up with was a, a bookcase with a whole bunch of books that are right over there. And some of them I've read, some of them I haven't. But you know, if there's an opportunity to put your phone uh, or your remote down and, and grab a book, I, I think that that's awesome advice uh, as a general rule. And maybe there's even some bonus points if you can pick up a cookbook. And the reason that I say that is because there's, there's a tangible skill that, that comes out of that cookbook and maybe you can learn a recipe or two that, that you can use either to, to feed your family or to host somebody the next time that we can have social get togethers. Uh, just something to be a little more enjoyable to, to get something out of that reading. The next thing that came to mind is in our coat closet uh, up on the top shelf, we have a bunch of board games and in that area we also have decks of cards. And so if there are opportunities, you know, if you, if you live with someone or you have a family or somebody to play those games with, hopefully this, is, this isn't solitaire time. This is time that you can, can spend bonding with, with somebody else that's nearby, even if it's not a big group of 10. You know, the, these are things that you already have and hopefully you can be using them. Uh, the next thing that comes to mind is really just the fact that if you have family members that, that you live with, pay some attention to them. And I am guilty of this to a fault myself. Uh, I try to schedule the, the recordings that I'm doing right now for my YouTube videos when my daughter Marin is already in bed so that I can spend more time with her during the day. But even, even during that, I, I still feel like there's more time I could be spending with her. And you know, if I can put my phone down or put the TV remote down and focus on her a little bit more, I think it'll be all the better for our relationship and maybe somebody else feels that way too. So as I continue to walk around the house, you know, there are a handful of things in the front room that, that are probably cluttered or, or really you could probably find things in every room of our house that would, would be some level of clutter. Even the Monopoly for Millennials game back there is a, a good example of a board game and of clutter because I bought it as a prop. Terrible excuse to buy a board game, but that one was too fun to pass up. So. If there's an opportunity for you to, to do some early spring cleaning, I know we're not quite to spring. We're on St. Patrick's Day right now, even though it doesn't really feel like that. And if you can, can clean up a little bit around your house, uh, I know it's not the most exciting thing to do, but I, I think that it'll, it'll be uh, of a benefit to you when you're done. After I was done in the front room, I walked upstairs and I noticed that I've got a pull-up bar in the doorway of one of the bedrooms. And it, it's a reminder to myself that I could definitely be exercising during this time. 
And so if your 2020 fitness goals aren't where you expected to, them to be in March, there's an opportunity to spend some time exercising instead of you know being on your phone or instead of watching TV. Uh, there's a small caveat to this is that if, uh, if you don't have any ideas to generate fitness uh, activities on your own, you know, YouTube is a great resource for, for that. I know there are tons of yoga videos, tons of exercise routines pre-built in and so you can pick and pull from those and if, if that's the way that you're going to spend watching your TV or having your screen time is to, to influence your exercising, I think that's probably one of the best ways you can do it. So after we go to the bedroom that has the, the pull-up bar in the doorway, we get to, to my master bedroom and uh, I'm not going to suggest that anybody kill time in the master bedroom because I don't want to be the, uh, the responsible party for uh, an influx of children nine months from now. So we're going to bypass that completely, but uh, we will go from the master bedroom to the master closets. Uh, same sort of things uh, apply than when we were talking about decluttering. Uh, there's a good chance that there's uh, there's something in your closet that's that's probably been there since you moved into the place that you're living in now. And if if you can can declutter there and maybe even donate it to help somebody else out, that'll that'll be a win-win. And so earlier we talked, I talked a little bit about uh, you know if your fitness goals aren't quite where you wanted them to be yet, that's okay. Uh, that there's time to, to still do that. And, and the same goes for any of your goals. If, if you didn't set goals for 2020, it's not too late to do that. Go ahead and write them down. And if you don't know how to set goals, I made a video about that three months ago that talks about how I do it step by step. And I'll link to it overhead so that you can check that out if you haven't seen it. So the last thing that I want to touch on in this video is once you've, once you've wrapped your head around all of the different things that you could be doing besides playing on your phone or watching TV, go ahead and pick your phone back up. And don't use it for a social media platform or a texting platform, but use it for a phone platform. Use the actual phone feature and call five people in your phone book. Maybe they're people that are in your sphere of influence that you're close to. Maybe they're people that are in your neighborhood, your, your neighbors, your next door neighbors. Check on five people and see how they're doing. It's a crazy time in the world right now in the history of my life. I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. And I think that, that everybody can agree with that. And you know, it, it's never a bad idea to touch base with somebody to make sure they're doing okay. And, and just make sure that they've got the, the essentials that they need to, to keep going with their life. And take a minute to remember during all of this that social distancing doesn't mean social isolation. And I'm totally stealing that from our pastor's message the other day, but it's true. Just because you're not presently in front of somebody doesn't mean you don't have the impact to the the opportunity to impact them in, in some way. And maybe that phone call is the way to do it. So if there's uh, if anybody's got any additional ideas for, for how we can spend less time on our phones and more time doing productive things in the house, drop a comment and let me know what you're doing. This is a great way to interact. You can, you can take ideas from other people and incorporate them into your life. And we'll see uh, if, if maybe this can be the start of a trend where, where we're spending a little bit less time on our phones and a little more time intentionally doing other things. That is going to bring this week's episode to a close. As always, you know it's not too late to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It'll let other people know that this is a video worth watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I promise you they're not all going to be this pessimistic. I've got a really cool real estate video coming up next week and we'll dive into that. And so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be the first to know about new videos that are coming out. If you have an idea for your future topic on the show, or if there's anybody you know who might be a good guest star, please let me know. Drop a comment and I'll, I'll make sure that I respond to you on that. And if there's any feedback that you have, leave them in the comments. I can handle it if you don't like the episode. Maybe the next one will be a little better, maybe not. It's all a practice run until I, uh, until I go to Broadway, I guess. Let's be real, I'm not going to Broadway either. Anyway. This is Anthony Drew Gary, host of The How-To Show, signing off.